morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog every day, or however we say that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. I just have a question. Why? Like, do you guys remember Saturday? How beautiful and luscious and warm it was? That's all. That's all. Oh yeah. <laughs> you love your tambourine. Okay, today is gonna be a tidy day. This place is a wreck. And we like to enjoy our weekend. So that's what we're gonna do today. Peter is whipping us up a snack. It's like kinda close to the end of the week. James, he just woke up from his nap. <laughs> I finished the vlog. And I think I'm gonna make Crunchwrap Supremes for dinner. Thanks for the dumplings. I microwaved them. <laughs> I've decided that in any culture's food, my favorite option, like my favorite thing, is whatever comes in dumpling form. Like a ravioli. Or a pierogi. Or a samosa. It's the best. I'm kind of struggling here. Take a boo. Oh, hello, I see you. <laughs> So we got these corned beef fritters from Aldi. It came with this delicious looking sauce. Here's how they look. How do they look on the inside? I don't know if they're a seasonal thing for St. Patrick's Day or not, but I'm excited. Taste test. Delicious. They're good. They're really good. I hope they're all year round. I've never seen them or heard of them before. They're good. I've had like corned beef egg rolls, but not these little nuggets. Not plant based. James has been very into cocoa lately. Maybe because he was born on November 1st. Ready? Set? Go! <laughs> Unface. What are you doing? We just buried James in a pile of plush in his crib while mom was organizing some of the TV stand. What? She's gonna do some laundry and then we're gonna swap out and she's gonna hang out with Jamesy while I go work on some dishes. I'm trying to tag team a lot of things tonight in this organizational evening. You love that book? Baby Animals? Oh! I was supposed to do Crunchwrap Supremes for dinner tonight. Oh dear. Sorry for the abrupt switch. Dinner ended quickly. And now we're doing bath time. Um, but I ended up cleaning off the fridge, which resulted in being like, let's eat these leftovers instead. So crunch wrap supremes will have to wait. And I'm also going to like plan our meals for the rest of the week so we don't like lose out on any produce. Good morning, we did not sign off last night. We had a really great productive Monday. Like I feel really good about it. It's just nice that what we've set off this week, especially because it is going to be a busy week with St. Patrick's Day stuff happening this weekend. Um, it just feels good. So we finished up, watched some PE blinders, and then we went to bed. Honestly, I don't know what we're gonna be doing today. I kinda wanna hang some stuff up. We still have stuff in James's room that never got up. And I also kinda wanna like plan 
finally getting stuff hung up in our room and finding a new comforter because we still have our Christmas sheets up. They're kind of like more wintry because we don't have the quilt with like the holly and stuff or any of the throw pillows. It is just like a wintry flannel um, comforter, but still like red sheets. It still feels very Christmas. So, happy Tuesday. <laughs> what are you doing over there? He is watching Zootopia for the very first time. I've, I've probably only watched this movie like once. Like, truly watched it. We'll see if he's a fan. Got your fire truck? And we are officially out of... Actually, I think it still might be the late 80s. But we are into the Renaissance Disney films next. So our next, like in our rewatch of like every Disney movie or every Disney animated movie that is, is Little Mermaid. Oh my goodness. So we have that to look forward to. Guys, look at these pink cheeks. I think it was just because I was so worked up. Um, I just won a nap battle with James. It was very close. I don't even really feel like I won. He's asleep, but he just wants to be awake. He wants to <laughs> hang out. Um, but he's so tired and we've gotten in such a good groove. And I feel like with him walking and everything, he's like exerted more energy and he's like showed that he's tired. Um, and he's been liking his crib. But the past two days, naps have just been a struggle. Um, and we have nailed down going to bed with a water bottle. Um, but I want to get that situated before I also, like, try to, like, work that into nap time as well. Our biggest thing is we don't want him, like, having the milk on his teeth because of his weak enamel. Um, but also just to kick that habit so we can kind of transition I'm rambling um but yeah usually getting just a little bit more bottle like after he's upset about going down works um and it did today but brutal <laughs> brutal nap time so i got so many feet to fill on um i'm gonna fold some laundry i'm still kind of on like the tidy kick feeling good about everything i've gotten accomplished and so i just want to like wrap everything up um and i ordered myself mcdonald's because after that i need it <laughs> i'm so happy like i'm so emotionally happy right now especially because they remembered my barbecue sauce Um, I just, I hear some noises, and look who I found in the dining room on the ground with their coke and spirit over here. Munching on some chips, huh? You found them? Oh, gosh. James is obsessed with minions, apparently. Also, I've gone cozy comfy tonight with this nice sweatshirt. Jeans are keeping me warm because we live in the Arctic. And we've done nothing but moved our tukuses about three feet from that spot to the couch over to here. So I moved from here to over there. And it's like 8 o'clock already. What time is it? 6.30. It's 6.30. I want to go to bed right now. But everyone else doesn't want to. Everyone wants to like buy duvet covers and watch Minions. I feel like I'm tan. You do look tan. You just don't want to use our camera that's right here. <laughs> vlog exception. So I'm going over a lot of options for our room. Excuse if you hear minions in the background. Peter and I want floral, like embroidery, but there's so many different options. Comment below if you like love a certain store to get your duvet cover. So we love our comfy cozy blanket and we just need a cover for it. I think this one, this one is totally embroidered. I think this is the winner so far, but it's just like 
the price difference between like somewhere like Shein. These two from Wayfair, again, like a little bit less pricey. We would go like just one color on top and then fancier sheets. But then we could also go floral duvet cover with salad sheets. Basically, we know what it's like to have a newborn and like just managing <laughs> their life on our, our bed. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Like we're not sure like what we want to prioritize. Like do we get something that we know is going to last a long time, cleans really well? We want to get something that's like we won't have forever because it's just like right now we know there will be stains and there will be messes and stuff like that. So comment below what you think and if you have any suggestions of like other places I've looked at like Anthropology, Urban Outfitters, Shein, Wayfair, and Pottery Barn. I guess I like, I've kind of looked at like the ones that are like easily Goog on go like Googleable. <laughs> That's the word that was gonna roll off my tongue. Um, and then, I mean, we can be like more conscious about like not doing changes on top of the duvet, but then like, then do we go like a darker sheet? I don't know, leave your advice below. Check it out. We did in fact order Taco Bell and I'm waiting outside of it on Belmont and I accidentally ordered from the Belmont one rather than the Wrigley one. But hey, we got a parking spot, so I drove. Um, and it's freezing out. But look, my first quarterly magazine of ultra running magazine arrived. I can't wait to get home and rip it open. There's the importance right there. Live long. Boom. Training 101, running jackets. I can't wait. We have it. We have it. I just, I do just, even though it's cold out, I just love, just love Chicago. Come on. It's the best. This is what Jamesy just brought over for me to put on him. My vans. <laughs> he was just trying to do it himself. He brought it over, he was like lifting his leg like, you gonna, you gonna walk? Well, when I said I was going to make the Crunchwrap Supreme, Peter said, well, what would you do if I just went and got Crunchwrap Supreme? I said I wouldn't hate it. So here we are. No motivation today. I feel like we burn out so quick. We were like... We're very binary. <laughs> yeah. We're all nothing. <laughs> okay, I give us two. Okay, so there's a lot I show you, look at how cute he is when he takes a bite. <laughs> Whoa! That is a bite of satisfaction. It was either a smile, a shake, a dance move. <laughs> Whoa! Ready for bed? <laughs> Direct it. <laughs> Direct it. <gasps> Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> I got you. Tonight's sign off is brought to you by <laughs> Peter and Eve. We were avoiding bedtime. <laughs> we were avoiding bedtime. We were just like letting James hang out in his room with us, and neither of us wanted like to get him ready. Hi. Thank you, sweetie for bed, so it's later than expected, but James went down like a champ, and she was already asleep when we came out of his room, and now she's disturbed to do the sign-off, so what do you guys say, Eve? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. We are already on the south side today. It's early in the morning. Um, we are celebrating Luca and Violet's birthdays today. For, with our aunts and uncles doing some just like cake and coffee. It has been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Um, and so today is finally happening. Um, but we want to get to an Irish store that closes a little bit early, and so we decided to just come for the whole day. And here's mine and Peter's high school. <laughs> spin, spin, spin! 
We're having a dance off. Go, 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 go. Alrighty, I'm on 111 at the Southside Irish Import. Honestly, I planned on going here with my baby and Peter, but he is still napping. We're here for a hat. Oh my gosh. Wow. Now that is surface. <laughs> so here are the hats we have to choose from. I honestly might get an adult small. We'll see. There's also this cute hat, which I might get too. This weekend at the downtown parade Saturday, and then the Southside Irish Parade Sunday. We're gonna do it all, but it's going to be cold. Like super cold Saturday. Um, we just have to be prepared. This is actually the kids section. I love these hats. Just got um, James a new sweater and I don't, I, I wanna make sure, if I had it here I could like see if it matched. I don't think it would. So I think I'm gonna go with one of these. So many sweaters. Oh, I like this one. So many shirts. And they have all other sorts of little trinkets. A lot of religious stuff. And they sell a lot of different bleak items. And so much jewelry. Peter actually is thinking about getting a new wedding ring, like a gold clotter ring. Maybe they'd have them here. You know, just your average Pope cutout. Stuff for communions and baptisms. It's a lot of different religious like cards and little doodads. This is the shirt for the parade, like their official shirt. So that's pretty cute. And it hasn't gone on for two years, so so this Sunday is going to be a big deal. Someone woke up from their nap. Two whole hours. Ooh, that sun. Um, I'm done with work. Sarah ran to the store to see if she can find this little Irishman a hat. Um, for St. Patrick's Day, I had like a crazy, I was in like non-stop meetings all day again, but helped time go by. And now uh, we're just gonna get ready for cake and coffee for Violet and Luca. The oh yeah? You have a lot to say? You got sleepy eyes. Pumbaa and James just hadn't run into each other, so I wanted to bring him down here to cheer him up. <gasps> Jamesy, did you know this used to be dad's room? This used to be where daddy lived, right here in this basement. It seems small because there's no furniture in here, but there was there was a lot of cool stuff in here. I had a desk, a chair, big old TV, all the Mickey Mouse stuff everywhere. What about this soccer ball? Yeah! Me and Vivi were playing and Puma got excited and jumped up. And then when he like came down from a jump, James was there and they bonked each other. <gasps> go, go, go. <gasps> Look at this minion. What? You love the minions. Wow. We had a bunny. Okay, there we go. All right, happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday. I just blew Violet's mind letting her know that I played the original Minecraft and then so we went ahead and we're downloading the Disney version of Minecraft. Uh, you are the best! <laughs> yeah. We're literally riding, it's a small one. <gasps> we're home. The babe stayed asleep for the transfer. What an unexpected three-parter. Yeah, yeah. 
It's been a, it's been a busy week. It has been. It's like work's been busy, busy right? home's been busy. Or yeah, we got an exciting weekend coming up though. Yeah, so it'll be fun. Fest full festivities and fun St. Patrick's Day events all weekend long. We gotta figure out what we got Friday because we got nothing on the books Friday, right? We'll find something. Do you see this baby moving? I still feel like I'm dreaming that I get to experience this for a second time. I do. Like, I can't believe it. My hair's kind of whack. Um, so, yeah, this was a three-part vlog, which um, we don't typically do or don't like to do, but... You know, sometimes life happens, and we thought we were having a productive start to the week with all the, like, laundry and cleaning up and organizing, and then um, I've been having, like I said earlier, like, I've just been having more meetings, so I haven't been, like, around Sarah and James as much during the day, plus we've been doing things like doing cake and coffee and stuff, so it's it's been um, kind of a blur of a week, but... I think it's turning around starting tomorrow. We're after, past Wednesday, so, you know, classic hump day jokes about being almost to the week. That week, week. See? It's a strange week. But we're almost to the weekend, and it's going to be fun. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this vlog, and I guess that's it. I can't wait to look back on this, this vlog when I'm, like, 85. If you didn't know, that's, like, the intent is when I'm, like, 80. 80 years old, I'm going to start rewatching all the vlogs over again. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.